Yeah, what up you guys? Welcome back to another one of these videos. Today I got a short juggling sequence for you with three clubs and I'm gonna teach it to you. Let me show you first. Like that. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just this very fun idea that I like playing, which is that throw putting or throwing or putting club under your armpit and all the, um, it, this is a lot of variations. I have used it in a couple of my different routines and I still use it like if I just dangle with the clubs a little bit, every once in a while clubs goes under there and I think it's very cool. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of different ways to get out of it. I'm just going to show you one, one, one very simple one. Okay. Um, first of all, Let's, I'm gonna, let me just show you the whole sequence that I just did. Uh, so this is the first. Sorry. No, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have to do the multiplex thing. You can just do um, from here. That, that would be the easiest one. So you go up on the left. And back. You just throw one high, you put your arm across here, and then you go one double and you come back. And you can also do it in singles. Okay? And if you want to make it more difficult, on the way back, you do that. So you add one spin and it's under your arm. So you hold it by the end, you come here, after you throw that, you make that extra spin in front of you. So it just goes forward, and that continues under your arm. So on the, you go cross and back, and you get plenty of time. Okay, cross and back, and there you go. If you wanna make this more difficult, you do that on the way in and on the way out. So on the way in, you spin it uh, under, so you come from here, spin under, come here, under, come here, under, come here, under, come here. That's it. So you go here, oh. and you do it again, maybe with a better trolls, like that. And I think that's fantastic, because it's, it's completely new dimensions. People don't usually spin clubs this way. It's always like that. I think it looks very cool when you do this. And it adds, it adds more dimension to it, okay? And if you do it with a turning, you get even more. But yeah, that's another thing. <laughs> but just to show you. And then if you wanna make it more difficult, you do it from a multiplex. So you do a single double multiplex where you go under and in the middle. So you go single double multiplex, under from the middle. So you go cross and then back. After you catch that one, you come back, okay? Let me throw a little bit better multiplex. So from here, back. Like this. So the first one was that. And if you wanna make it a little bit more harder, we do it from a multiplex. And yeah, like before, if we add the spins to it, uh, first, we can add it on the way back. And if that is, like, if you're having run out of time, instead of oh, doing it there in front, under the club, you can actually just go and do it here. It's not that big of a difference if you do it on the outside. That way you don't have to be so fast between the clubs. Just tip if you find it hard. You can do it there. Okay? And from the side view, it doesn't look the same. And then, it, I mean, it does look the same. <laughs> and then you can add the other spin to it as well. Okay? So we add the spin on the forward, sorry. Spin on the way, spin coming out. Spin going in, spin coming out. And you can do the spin here. Again, you don't have to do it under. You can do it here. And you can even start it before throwing. So you can start the spin and then you throw. So you start the spin 
then you go under. See? Start the spin, and you go under. It creates the same effect than doing that. But it just gives you more extra time. And then you can do the other spin on your way out. Ah, come on. So let me once do it. Uh, this is the forward where you do it under all the time. This is the sideways where you do it under. This is the forward where you do it before and after. Sideways before and after. So you can see there's not that big of a difference. All right, so then once we do that, that's gonna go under here. So what we do, just make a circle, open up your arm a bit, just put it there. Okay, that's it, you can put it or you can make like a small flat throw. It's pretty much, you just put it there, but because there's a little bit of speed, you let go, it shoots up like from here to here. And then you just squeeze, that's it. You can put it, squeeze. Or you can throw it a bit and squeeze. How I take it from here? So I do that. I just take it. One and a half spin helicopter. And I like to turn a little bit. So when I do this, I like to turn even, either diagonally or completely sideways. So that people can see that the club is here. Because if I'm like that, it's not so visible. I think this is better but that's up to you. So when I come back here, I turn a bit. Take it, one and a half spins. And like I said, there's so many options. You can take it to the same hand. I mean, put it to the left with the other clubs. You can switch the clubs to the other hand, which I did. Or you can go like that. So there's so many options, even with just that helicopter thing. You can do this kind of stuff, whatever you want. <laughs> but in this case, this sequence, you're gonna grab it here, wrong way. So you're holding it wrong way by the um, body, and with your palm down, one and a half helicopters. And you catch with the left hand and transfer these clubs here. Now I'm gonna throw a double and reverse spin. So double spin, reverse under, and then catch. And left hand is just gonna do that. And that's it. The helicopter. Double, single, spinny, spinity, spin, spin. <laughs> and then after the spin, it comes down. I do a single and I catch it on the way up. So I don't catch it down, I catch it on my way up. And then I can continue whatever I want. So again, that arm. And there you go. Um, yeah, it's just a cool little quick sequence that, for you to try. But that's it. I like that a lot. I use it a lot, uh, both this thing and also that, that thing. But yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more stuff like this, I actually have like a complete tree club course, like, which is complete guide to tree club chuckling this kind of stuff and so much more in my chuckling mastery. In total, there's way over 400 chuckling videos, lessons and tutorials, just like this. So if you like this kind of stuff, definitely check that out, chucklingmastery.com. I put the link below in the description. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.